Hi, and welcome to Digimerge TV. Today we're going to demo with the CMSDH Central Management Software, which enables remote viewing and management of up to 300 touch series DVRs via PC, so users can monitor and control all of their DVRs from a single point. We will soon be introducing a lineup of IP cameras, which will also integrate into CMSDH. The software can extend up to eight screens and you can view 64 camera locations per screen. In this video, we'll show you how to download the software, navigate the interface, and operate some of the key features. Another video on CMSDH will detail more advanced features including e-mapping, remote search, retrieval, and backup. You can find this video on our YouTube channel or on the videos page of our website. CMSDH is free and is included on disk with all touch series DVR systems. You can also download the software directly from digimerge.com. Under Products, go to DVR Apps, select CMSDH, click on the Downloads tab and proceed to download the software. You can also find the software in the Downloads tab of your respective DVR product on digimerge.com. CMSDH is utilized on PCs. If you have a Mac system, try using the ISMS Mac software, which is also available. Before installing CMSDH, please note the following prerequisites that are necessary in order for it to work. Firstly, your PC system must meet the following minimum requirements. Port 80, or whichever port your system is using, must be port forwarded on your router. If you have a dynamic IP address, you must create a free and secure Digimerge DDNS account and have the DDNS settings configured in your DVR. Lastly, the DVR must have internet access. To install CMSDH, locate the CMSDH software included on the software CD or download the application file from digimerge.com. Double click the CMSDH setup file and installation will commence. Note that you may receive installation warnings. This is normal. Accept the security warnings to continue and follow the on-screen instructions to install the software. Click Yes to restart the computer when prompted. After successful installation, double-click on the CMSDH icon on your desktop to start the program. The first step in setting up CMSDH is adding a DVR location. From the toolbar below the top menu, click Device. If you have touch series DVRs connected on site on your local area network, click Scan to locate these connected DVRs. When adding a DVR from the LAN, the DVR name will automatically appear as the last digits of the IP address. Once the DVRs are found, click Apply followed by OK. If you have changed the DVR's password from the default, be sure to update it per system before clicking Apply OK. DVRs that have been successfully added now appear on the left panel. To connect to the DVRs and view them, first click the Offline button in the toolbar. The DVRs will be toggled to Online. Now double-click the individual DVR icons to connect and view live video. Before adding another DVR, you must first click the Online button to disconnect. You can also add a DVR from a remote location by entering the static IP or DDNS plus login information. With DVRs disconnected from CMSDH, click Device. In the Device Manager window, click Add. Beside the Type drop-down menu, select DVR. Then enter the DVR information, including the name of your choice, IP address or DDNS, port number, username, password. To complete, click Apply OK. Now that there are multiple DVRs connected, click the Offline button to toggle the system online and double-click the individual DVR icons to activate live viewing. Each DVR opens in a new tab. You can switch between multiple DVRs by clicking on the respective tabs found at the top of the window. The CMSDH interface is easy to navigate and use. You can double-click each channel to view in full-screen mode, and double-click again to return to multi-screen viewing. A variety of viewing modes are available by clicking on the icons in the toolbar, offering views up to 64 cameras. Clicking the Sequence button enables the tabs to automatically rotate continuously. You can adjust the sequence time under the File Setup menu. 
Clicking PTZ opens the pan tilt zoom menu. If you have a PTZ camera connected, go to that camera in full screen mode and use the PTZ controls to pan and zoom. Click the PTZ icon again to remove the pan tilt zoom menu. You can capture screenshots as JPEG or bitmap images. To take a screen capture, click the capture icon. You'll see a preview of the snapshot image which you can name and save to a local directory. As each touch series DVR is 4, 8, or 16 channels, it's sufficient to combine the different DVRs into a single viewing screen that can display up to 64 camera locations. You can create a virtual DVR, which combines video sources from multiple DVRs. To add a virtual DVR, click the New VDVR button. A virtual DVR icon will appear in the tree menu on the left. Double-click this icon to open the DVR. Then go to other DVRs and expand their menus by clicking the plus symbol and open the cameras. Simply drag and drop the desired cameras from different DVRs into the virtual DVR window. The final item that we'll cover in this video is running CMSDH on multiple monitors. CMSDH can support a maximum of eight monitors on a single system. However, running eight monitors is extremely resource intensive. The recommended minimum system specifications for running CMSDH on multiple monitors are Intel Core i5 or i7 processor, 6 GB of RAM, a motherboard that can support up to 4 PCIe video cards, GeForce 9500 GT video card, 1 GB or greater. To run CMSDH on multiple monitors, connect to CMSDH Open the desired DVRs and menus that you wish to view, then drag the desired tabs to different monitors. The CMSDH software effectively provides users with a central station to view and manage all of their DVR locations in one place. This video served to get you up and running and familiar with the software and navigation. Another video on CMSDH will provide a more in-depth tutorial on other powerful features available including e-mapping. Thanks again for joining us. For more information, please visit our website, www.digimerge.com.